Are we not cranky enough? Right, right now, I need you guys to stop talking for a few minutes so I can explain this. So, we don't have, um, well, okay, next week we have our AZM2 for our math test, right? So, I found an escape room that's a Google form. So, you have to go through and you're trying to escape the Google form um, with review from this whole year of math. Um, I don't know how long it is, I don't remember. But basically, I just want you guys to go through and try and get as far as possible before the end of the lesson. So it is called Review Escape Room. It's a Google form. It's in math, yep. And you will just open it up. It says, you want to go to the movies. There are five items that you, OK, so we're going to the movies, escaping the class, going to the movies, I guess. You want to go to the movies, and there are five items that you need to fully enjoy the 3D movie experience. But they are locked away. In order to unlock these items, you must complete five tasks. So five different review things, right? Yeah. The locks could contain numbers, letters, or both. Unlocking a task will enable you to receive an item needed to watch the movie. In order to watch the movie, you must complete all five tasks correctly and unlock all five items. Um, as you go through, read the directions carefully. The code information, are in, like how to type the code in correctly, is in each set of directions. So you need to make sure you read the directions to know how to type the code correctly. So you'll do your name, class period, just write one. It doesn't matter what you write because we're all in the same class. So let's see if we start it, Miss Jones, one, next. It doesn't matter what you put there. You just need to put something. OK, this is loading for me. Task one, read the directions carefully. Number one is multiple choice. For the code, you need to enter the letter of the correct choice, a uh, lowercase, with no commas or spaces. So the example, if you see that the answer to number A is B, and the answer to B is C, you would type B, C to move on to the next one. So you need to simplify those expressions and put the correct multiple choice answers there. So, okay, let's do number one together. Find an equivalent expression. Which one is equivalent to that? 49 plus 14. So do the distributive property. Which one is 49 plus 14? A, B, C, or D? If you do a distributive property. It would be A, because you would do seven times seven is 49, plus seven times two is 14. So you would put an A first because that's the answer to the first question then we need to do the same for part b so find the answer to part b please yeah you can tell me the answer it is not b it's c because you take three times eight is 24 minus what's three times five 15. So it would be C. So you literally just type right in a row A, C, because those are the answers. And you hit next, and it should take you to the next one. Oh my goodness, we unlocked the movie ticket. Because <clears throat> you need a ticket to go to a movie. And then you hit next to go to the next one. On this one, just read the directions. You find the answer uh, for part A, write your answer down, put a comma, put a space, put your answer for part B. So you just kind of keep working through. If you need help with the instructions and how to enter your answers, just let me know. If you need help finding the answers, let me know. But go ahead and work through the Google form and see if you can win and escape and get everything needed.